greenhouse is running a little bit and I think I'm going to improve it to make it better and this looks so good guys look hello guys welcome back this is stationers let's play on lulan episode number 16 so let's go back to work i'm going to work on my greenhouse which is almost working so let's go inside let's take a look and i need to find a solution but how can i do it so i would like to fill these pipes and these uh, automated hydroponics stations with co2 but i do have some pipes here so let's try how to do it so this is not how to do it right <laughs> but i think i know what i'm going to do so let's try do i want i see chip over here no no so let's try it this way and maybe this way and the pipes will go in this direction and of course i will need more pipes and i would like to have at least two passive vents but i'm not sure if i do have any in this pile no i don't so let's print some passive vents maybe two of them so oh i'm almost out of iron so this is the first one i need one more and then i need to print some pipes so let's do, take a look on the pipes so i can print only seven pipes okay i can print it and i need to bring more iron into the pipe bender so printing pipes so I will place the passivants into my inventory and I will try to collect some pipes. I think I do have the resources for many pipes, so almost like 100 pipes. That's That should be fine or it should be more than I need. But I don't want to get crazy with the pipes. So I will stop the machine. And let's go inside the greenhouse. So let's take a look how I'm going to do it. So this section here, this section there, right? And I can connect these two pipes, these two pipes, and I will place passive vent here, just like this, and that. So now I'm getting CO2 inside these machines, right? So let's uh, play some T sections. Then I will need more pipes, of course. So let's go outside. I will print some pipes and then I can continue with building the greenhouse. I do have two stacks of pipes, so maybe it is enough for connecting all this stuff around here but we will see in a minute maybe or less so i will connect this side and the other side as well so this is the first or this is the one side and this is going to be the other side when the volume of the pipes is uh, increasing or yeah increasing then the passive winds are sucking the air inside that pipes. They are trying to equal, equalize the pressure inside the pipes and inside the greenhouse. So maybe I have enough of pipes. So I need a wrench in my hand to connect these pipes. Okay, not like that. So this guy goes here, this guy goes there, or maybe I should say puppy, like Linus. 
and and of course I am short of pipes. So I need to bring more pipes, but I think I do have just few pipes somewhere here. So three pipes and what about this corner around here? No, I don't have any pipes here. That's fine. I'm not going to complain about it or I'm not going to cry about it. I can still print more. I have eight pipes and plus two, so that should be ten. Yes. Well, let's go back inside the greenhouse and I need two pipes here. So now the pipe network should be connected. So let's take a look with the tablet to see what is inside this pipe. So we have CO2, O2, like everything what we have inside the greenhouse is inside this pipe. So we do have the CO2 connection in this uh, automated hydroponic stations. So I will try to place some gratings over these pipes because I don't want to walk off on them. So this is the, the floor in the greenhouse and now I will need a little bit of water inside that pipe. So I'm going to do some mining and melting some ice. I melted some ice inside this advanced furnace already. So this pipe has nothing, this tank has nothing and this pipe which goes inside the greenhouse there's nothing inside as well so let's try to turn on the volume pump or the valve as an output on the advanced furnace so let's take a look if we are getting the water inside the greenhouse let's go here we do have the water and the water is not behind this digital valve let's turn it on and now we are getting the water inside the greenhouse i'm going to melt all ice in this advanced furnace oh 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 it's probably too late maybe so let's melt some ice i do have the ice in my inventory so it should take uh, just a moment to melt some ice, but now I'm not completely sure if I'm melting the ice because I think the advanced furnace is uh, too cold inside. So let's take a look. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So it's minus 1.4 inside. That's not very good. So let's forge the advanced furnace. I will try to get out all the gases which are inside and I should get only the ice inside but yeah it is it is not melting yet so let's try to get it out how many okay so 50 pieces of ice okay that's fine so I will pump everything outside or I will pump everything out of this furnace so everything is getting filtered so let's let's uh, close this valve on the advanced furnace and let's pump some fuel in it so the, the furnace is almost completely empty so let's try a little bit of fuel inside and of course I need to start this gas fuel mixer because there is not much fuel in the fuel line so this should be alright and let's take a look what is inside the gas furnace or oh, the advanced furnace so it is fine so I will stop uh, getting the fuel so let's start it and oh ice was trying to escape <laughs> I lost a little bit of ice and the advanced furnace is pushing the, the, the air 
so the advanced form is, is closed now perfect and we have 430 degrees inside so if i will shut down this filtration unit all that hot gases with the very hot water will be inside this tank but not yet in a minute so let's take some ice and let's try to melt it and of course i'm doing it during the day because i'm too too lazy to wait till the night so i'm losing just a little bit of water so what is the pressure 13 it's fine so the advanced furnace shouldn't explode so let's melt a little bit more of ice and i'm just watching the pressure on the advanced furnace just in case because when i was playing this game before like a few weeks or a few months ago i didn't pay attention for the pressure inside the advanced furnace and it did explode well, let's take a look on this temperature 130 degrees so basically that water should be steam so let's pump it out and we should get the gases here so everything goes inside this tank and inside this uh, pipe between the filtration unit and the advanced furnace so i will leave it as it is and i think i'm going to bring some or i'm going to make some radiators so i can make the radiators in pipe bender but i don't have any steel left inside that pipe bender so if i will get very very lucky i will find some steel somewhere here but it won't happen today right what about this guy oh that's iron everything is so shiny but i should have some steel somewhere where can i find steel or maybe the fabricator has some steel inside already i'm too lazy to smelt more steel so i will try to find radiators or the steel so what is inside this guy 170 g of steel okay let's take it out <laughs> i'm too lazy like I, I will smelt the steel but maybe later i would like to print some radiators maybe like 10 okay so i do have the resources only for nine radiators so i will leave this pipe bender printing i'm going to place all the resources back inside the electronic printer and later probably much much later i'm going to make more steel so i will take some radiators with me because i would like to cool down the the gases inside this tank so let's place the radiators come on stupid radiator that doesn't want to cooperate just like what is wrong with it so now it should be all right what is wrong with this radiator okay i can place it here but i can't place it over there so something is not right i can place it here i can place it here but not over there like what is wrong with it hmm that's funny so oh i didn't want to turn off my jetpack so let's try the radiators here what about these pipes i just want to see okay no problem no problem so there is something which is not right so let's try to remove the pipe and let's place it back and hopefully it will fix the problem so the hot air is pushing me out uh, not out uh, pushing me up so i do have the radiators ready so let's try to install more radi radiators 
So hopefully the issue is fixed. Yes, okay, so the issue is fixed. But as you can see, not everywhere. So let's do it again. So I will drop the radiator. Oh, not the jetpack, please. <laughs> so I will remove this pipe. I will place it back. Then I can place the radiator on it. Perfect. So I'm happy with it, more or less. So let's place some radiators here. And it should be all right. So let's take let's take a look what is inside the tanks, and I would like to see if uh, the gases inside are cooling down. So 124 degrees. That's not bad, but I would like to have only water inside this tank over there. But I think before that I will shut this valve and I will turn on this filtration unit. So the water is not so hot, right? So 20 degrees, but let's now let's take a look here again. So 122 degrees. Ah, oh, that's fine. Like, I'm not going to cry about it again. So the gases are cooling down. The advanced furnace is empty. Completely empty. If I want, I can uh, smelt the steel right now, but not yet. Because I would like to get some seeds for the greenhouse. So I think I need some kind of a this a printer or bioprinter. It should be bioprinter. But now I can't remember where I can build it. I can't. So let's take a look into this tool maker, which is probably wrong machine for it. Biome printer, no. What about the autolite? Autolite probably not as well. Because it would be too easy. So bio printer not here. And what about the pipe bender? So guys, to be honest, I have no idea where I can get the bio printer. Oh well, let's take a look. No, and what about the fabricator? So it is not a bioprinter, it's organics printer. So maybe I can print it here. Maybe. No? Okay. I don't care. I'm going to print it in fabricator. Or maybe I will print two of them. And what about three of them? Ah no, two? Yeah, I will yeah. I will make two. That's more than I need. I will need just the lead and then I can print finally my own seeds. So where is the lead? Okay, I do have the lead. Let's print the organics printer, not the bio printer. And I should be good to go, right? Okay, steel and electrum. No, steel again, please. Why are you doing this to me? So this is the bio printer. No, not the bioprinter, organics printer, not the bioprinter. So I need some space where I will place it. What about what about anywhere, right? Maybe beside this horrible pile of rubbish. So let's make it let's make some space for it. It looks like it will take an hour to clean this pile so let's find a different place for it but i would like to see this uh, machine printing can i place it here no i can't what about i think this should be all right okay so there is the pipe can i place it behind behind the pipe no so i need to find a space where I can print it and what about inside the greenhouse because I would say that is going to be the place where I will do all the magic so I think I need some heavy cables 
because if I want to print something then I need to connect it to the, the power at least so I do have only two or four heavy cables so maybe it is good enough or maybe six so I will wait for two more and then I'm almost sure that I can connect that organic sprinter to whatever I want do I have any steel sheets not in my inventory I guess so let's find some steel sheets I should have some steel sheets here perfect oh I do have tons of steel sheets so I am going to print or oh, not print I'm going to weld these two frames and the greenhouse will be almost completely sealed or maybe now I'm just thinking like if I would make a very small room here then I can place a bioprinter inside and I would like have I would have the space for, at least for two bioprinters inside the hallway which goes inside the greenhouse but who cares right so let's go inside the greenhouse just like this we have a nice 16 oh 14 degrees 16 17 what is the average so 17 degrees inside the greenhouse and where the hell do i have the organic sprinter where i left it do i have it with oh yeah i have it here i was a little bit scared so let's place the bioprinter maybe just beside this guy or yeah i will place it here so now i need uh, to connect it to the power and i can try to print some stuff with it right so i will try i will connect it to the date uh, i will i'm going to connect the data port as well because if i would like to see what is happening inside the the bioprinter then i need to have the data port connected so this is the biomaker which is called organic sprinter so let's start this puppy why the hell it has so ugly colors like the gooey so wheat yeah let's print wheat oh that looks so nice inside right that looks so nice and i think i need to wait for printing this wheat and maybe i could check what is inside those pipes around the, the greenhouse so this is the atmosphere inside the greenhouse we do we do have the we do have co2 and what about the water and we do have the water so everything is perfect i would say i can start the the production of uh, what the hell is this so the cable goes here the crowbar goes here and the <laughs> and the tablet goes in my inventory so 51 percent of wheat so i need to wait a little bit more i think it's time to start all the hydroponics stations just like this because i do have the power or running all of them and it will look probably very good from outside so these are my hydroponic stations and i should have the wheat ladies and gentlemen i do have my own printed wheat so let's place it inside these automated hydroponic stations It looks nice, right? So let's place it there. I will turn off the light. 
And let's see how it plants the wheat. What? That was fast. <laughs> so, I'm growing my wheat, guys. And of course, it's wheat, not weed, okay? Especially for my rain, it's a wheat, not weed. Oh, these machines are running, so maybe I can print something else. So, what about... What about... I don't need a corn, I don't need flowers, mushroom or magic mushrooms, no. What about the potatoes? Yes, potatoes. I'm going to print some potatoes. So, guys, the greenhouse is running a little bit. And I think I'm going to improve it to make it better. And this looks so good, guys. Look, look at this, guys. It looks so good. I love it already. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.